Oh, so it's Evanescence in the live lounge. Morning. Morning. Hello, it's Amy and Ben. Yep. Okay, does Ben have a microphone? Can he speak or not? Uh, yes, hello, how are you doing? Hello. Hello. Not on. Here you go. Hello. Hello. Uh, very good of you to both come in at this early hour as well. Thank you. It's, it's not great, is it? I'm really sorry about It'll that. It's fantastic. <laughs> is it, how many cups of coffee so far? Two. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> but it's bouncing off the ceilings in there at the moment. Uh, it's actually right about right because on like American time, it's really like 4 a.m. Okay. 4 a.m., which is probably no, when no, you were. It's more like 8 a.m. 8 a.m. That's horrible. Okay. Listen, um, you must have said this a million times, but we need to know this stuff. How did you first meet up? Tell us that. Um, ben and I met at camp. Um, when we were, I guess I was 13 and he was 14, we met because I was playing the piano across the room. What was Meatloaf involved in yeah, this at all, right? that's what I was playing. It was, you know, that piano thing at the beginning. You know, I, I, yeah. I would do anything for love because I'm corny like that. <laughs> no, ben everyone has to have over. those corny records in their collections. What? They're important. Everyone has to have those corny records in their collections. Oh, you have to. Definitely. I've got Wham. You do? Sure I do. You do karaoke as well, don't you? Or have done? How'd that story get over here? <laughs> Somebody else asked me about that today. That's why I was thinking about it. <laughs> okay. Well, no, you better tell people out here because I'm the only one um, that Yeah, we had a little karaoke jam with um, Stone Sour and Seether. Um, Godsmack was there, but they didn't do any karaoke. <laughs> Where were you doing this? Um, I think, were we in Oklahoma or something? Houston, Texas. Okay, and you're all hanging out together? We, we, we just played a big festival and Good Charlotte was there too. It yeah. was really funny and um, yeah, I got up and I sang Wham, Everything She Wants. Um, <laughs> what did other people do? Uh, Good think, Charlotte, um, what did they do? Oh, what's that country song? Um, Corey from Stone Sour got up and sang um, Low Places and Burn in Love. <laughs> and then um, he, Corey and me and Sean from Seether got up and sang um, uh, a song from Greece. <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> What was that from then? <laughs> oh, and Baby Got Back. Okay. Fine. A lot of people are empathising with this, obviously. They've all been there and done that. It was very funny. Um, right, okay, so you met him at camp, you were playing music, and you obviously just connected because you were into the right, same sort of music. Yeah, we've, we really always understood each other musically and um, started writing started writing right away. Yeah, I don't get him, other than that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what was the first band name, or were you always Evanescence? Um, we experimented with a lot of band names, actually. I don't know if we want to... Any, any of them that you're proud of or not so proud of? Uh, uh, nah, we just, we just, I mean, our name changed probably every week for a while, so... And then you stuck on Evanescence? We, we finally found Evanescence, um, actually, you know, it was a long time ago. I mean, I guess we've had it for maybe four or five years now. Oh. Okay. We've had so many fantastic spellings of the uh, oh, word Evanescence. It's hilarious. Isn't it great? When we first played the track, we uh, had loads of comparisons as well. The best one was Linkin Park meets Ch um, Charlotte Church. Charlotte Church? <laughs> yeah. I knew that would win you over. <laughs> no way. I thought I wanted to be my friend. I'll tell her that. <laughs> okay. And uh, you played a download over the weekend. Yeah, we played um, the day before yesterday. Okay. Yesterday. And uh, you enjoyed? Yeah, it was great. Okay. Highlight of it for you? Um, here, Ben has a highlight. Go on, Ben. I met Kirk Hammett. Sorry, set again? I met Kirk Hammett from Metallica. I thought it was from Metallica. Yes. I'm not a Metallica specialist, but I know a lot of my listeners are. That's okay. I won't blame you for that. Okay. Thank you for that. I met Chris Cornell. Oh, really? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> they think that's cooler. <laughs> <laughs> you win. I win. Ben would no, argue. Yeah, ben, ben actually had like a good conversation with Kirk Hammond. I just was like, hi, um. Ben wins. You inspired me growing up and uh, he didn't know who I was or anything, so. But you said it. Did yeah, you feel embarrassed I after? It. I was really embarrassed. Yeah, okay. Right, you're going to perform for us now. Okay. Uh, it's entirely over to you. In the live lounge, this is Evanescence. <laughs> So now 
in the live lounge that was evanescence there was so much anticipation about you coming in today i can't tell you just the uh, correspondence Thank it must it, evanescence and doing bring me to life obviously which is the current single uh, it's off the album fallen which a lot of people are loving out there at the moment um how much has changed since this time last year for you lot <laughs> everything well not everything i think uh, we're still the same people you know on a personal level i definitely we've stayed grounded you know not letting it go to our heads not me yeah, but, except, um, yeah, with the exception. Well, yeah, not Ben. Ben's completely different. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but we're just so much busier, you know? Like, everything is, is so strange and just a big whirlwind of change. I mean, this time last year, I think we were probably just, like, sitting in our apartment, probably either writing music or, like, me taking care of my cat or something. Yeah, when was the last time you saw your homes? Um, don't have a home. You don't, don't have, have a home? Homes. We've seen our parents recently. Okay. Sort of, maybe a couple of months ago. Okay, just a couple of months ago. Bus. What's the tour bus like? Is it plush? It's good. Mm. Um, no. It's a mess. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people. We've got a lot of stuff. A lot of trash it's all over the place. It's, it's totally fun, though. Yes. What kind of stuff keeps you sane? What do you have to have on the tour bus to keep you sane? My journal. Um, oh, you keep a diary. Do you do it yeah. on the internet? Internet, oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah. see, I'm, I'm actually getting a separate production bus here soon where we'll have um, internet in the buses, but we don't have it right now, and that's killing me. Yeah. Okay. It's hard. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to stay connected with people. But, um, you know, you do your best. It's not, it's not bad. We're doing what we love. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, um, do you have any plans for a UK tour? Do you know any of these details yet? Because that's what everybody wants to know when they can come see you play live. Well, we uh, actually are playing the Astoria. On the 19th. On the 19th of this month. That's in London. Yeah. Um, and um, and negotiations at the moment, I suspect, to uh, get some other dates in. Yeah, well, we're, um, we're working on it right now. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, it's really interesting. Like, we've gotten um, all these opportunities to play all over the world, and, and we're going to Japan and Australia and all these places. Yeah, do you know what? I so, wouldn't bother coming back here either. Oh, <laughs> no, I just mean, I just mean, I just mean, um, we have a lot to hit. You know, we just started, and it's already going so well. It's yeah. like <laughs> being pulled in a, in a lot of different directions at once. Okay. But, but yeah, we're planning uh, tours as we speak. Okay, thank you. For, you've both got lovely voices, actually. And, thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you got well, to do me um, some voiceovers later. We have, both of us. <laughs> No, got really good uh, reactions. Awesome, since she was done last one. We've had some powerful voices in the live lounge before, uh, but none I think as uh, powerful as yours, Amy. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. We want to give a special thank you to Radio One and especially Joe and Pierce. Oh, cheers! Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>